Greg de Bleek takes his inspiration from the folk tunes he's grown up with. I started writing hymns because I realised that music is just all about communication and it's about taking what's on my heart and sharing that with another person. I get my inspiration from the truth that I find in the Bible. When I apply it to my own life and I realise how it makes sense of everything, that just inspires me to write new music, sing a new song to the Lord, as the psalmist says. Hello, good evening. It's good to see you. We are the new Scottish Hymns Band and we write hymns and songs for the church to sing. The New Scottish Hymns Band is just a six-piece group of musicians. I'm the oldest guy in the band. The rest of them are all in their 20s. They're all involved in worship in their own church. Now, the first song that we are going to do is a song called O Saviour of Sinners. O Saviour of Sinners, let voices unite in praise of that excellent name let cares find their place our sins are erased for jesus has died and has raised my first aim is to write music for the scottish church in a musical language that i understand so scottish folk music has been the authentic way that i've been able to express that one of the reasons it's good to have new hymns is it forces you to think about the words because so many people come to church and they sing songs without thinking about the words. The has given. With our music, we're trying to walk a third path in between the traditionalists and the modernists. Oh, saviour of sinners, no words are enough to bring you the praise you deserve. Some of the greatest hymn writers, the Charles Wesleys and the Horatius Bonners and Isaac Watts, people like that, their hymns are still being sung in churches today all across the world and they're inspiring people, they're inspiring me. The clouds in our hearts shall be melted away Forgiven we rise, so lift up your eyes For God is our life. Hopefully people will still be singing my songs or <laughs> hopefully they'll start singing them and then they'll still be singing them. Uh, 50, 100 years time, that would be great. 